This clip is about solving quadratic equations, which I think is a pretty difficult topic. Hopefully with the help of this clip, you'll get a real sense of achievement when you manage to grasp this. Now, whenever I see the word quadratic, I instantly think of the word quad. And then I think of the number four, from, say, quadrilaterals, having four sides, to quad bikes, having four wheels. Well, unfortunately, it's nothing to do with any of that. Quadratic equations are typically of this type, and it's the x squared bit here that tells me that it's a quadratic equation. Now, I can use a few methods to solve this, and this clip is going to deal with factorising quadratic equations to help solve the values of x. Now, it's not always possible to use the factorisation method, but I know for this example it will work. I'm going to start by creating two sets of brackets, remembering that if I multiply these back out, I will get this back. It still equals zero. Now remember when I multiply these brackets back out, I will get this back. So the first thing I'm going to consider is the term that will go there, multiplied by the term here, will have to give me x squared. Now that's an easy one. x times x will give me x squared. Now these terms here are the really tricky ones. The easy way to find these out is to find numbers which when added together will give me minus 9 and when multiplied together will give me plus 20. Have a little think about that. Pause the... So the numbers should be minus 4 and minus 5. Let's just see if this works by multiplying it back out. I've already determined that x times x does indeed give me x squared. I now multiply the x by the minus 5 to give me minus 5x. So I've done that bit. Now it's minus 4 times this x, which will give me minus 4x. And then I need the minus 4 times the minus 5. Now remember, a minus times a minus will give me a positive value, so that will give me plus 20. And again, that will equal 0. Now I can group together these terms, these are like terms, minus 5x, minus 4x will give me a total of minus 9x. So indeed, I end up back with what I started. Minus 9x plus 20 is equal to 0. So this is correct. This is my factorised quadratic equation. So that's not the end of it. I've factorised my quadratic equation, but I still haven't got my value of x. So how can I go about finding that? Now, believe it or not, with all quadratic equations, there's actually two values of x that will work for the equation. So what are they going to be in this case? The fact that it always equals 0 is a key point. Remembering that this is a multiplication, and anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So how can I use this to help me? So in order for this to work, one of these brackets here has to equal 0 for this to be 0. Let's start with this one. So we're going to say that this bracket here is equal to 0. Multiplied by this bracket, of course, will equal 0. So I'm now saying that x minus 4 is equal to 0. So how is this actually 0? Well, in order for this bracket to equal 0, x itself will have to equal 4. 4 minus 4 will equal 0. Let's just write that down. 4 minus the 4 gives me the 0 that I need, multiplied by the other bracket will equal 0. So in this case here, I'm saying that x is equal to 4. And that's one of my values, remembering that there are always 2. Alternatively, I could say that this bracket is equal to 0. So there I would have my initial bracket multiplied by 0 is 0. So in order for this bracket to actually equal 0, x would have to be 5. 5 minus the 5 would give me the 0 that I need. So just to write that down again, x minus 4 is my original bracket, multiplied by 5 minus the 5 equals 0. So in this case, x is equal to 5. And that's my second value for this equation. Here's one for you to try using the factorization method. x squared minus 8x plus 15 is equal to 0. What are my two values of x going to be for this example? Pause the clip and give it a go. How did you get on? Well, we start by creating our two sets of brackets. Remember, this bracket is multiplied by this bracket. I need my x squared, so that would be x in there and x in there. Now remember, the rule is I need two numbers which when added together will give me minus 8 and when multiplied together will give me 15. 
After a little bit of thought, I've worked out that minus 3 and minus 5 will give me the two answers that I need. Let's just check that. If we multiply the brackets out again to check I get this back, x times the x will give me my x squared. x times minus 5 is minus 5x. Now here on this side, minus 3 times x is minus 3x. Now a minus times a minus is a positive. Minus 3 times minus 5 is a plus 15. Equals 0. Minus 5x minus the 3x. Well, that will give me my minus 8x, which is what I need there. I've still got my x squared and my plus 15 is equal to 0. So how does this bit now help me? So to get my two values of x that will work for this equation, I need to think that this is e going to equal 0 or this is going to equal 0. Now, for this to equal 0, then x would have to be 3. Or for this to equal 0, x would have to be 5. And those are my two values that will work for this equation. I hope that helps.